<laughs> the performer you're about to see, not a comedian. He comes to us from Vancouver. Well, West Coast, bro. He has performed for the Edmonton Oilers, Coca-Cola Corporation, great corporation, and was on a TV special called Off the Wall. He's won several awards in close-up and comedy magic. Please welcome to the show, Chris Ewell. All right. Thank you guys very much. Sounds like everybody's having fun so far. Uh, let's keep going with that. That's cool. Tell you what, my name is Chris Ewell. I'm going to do a little bit of magic for you, a little bit of comedy. Uh, anything you don't find funny up here today, it's probably the magic part, okay? So keep that in mind, and we'll do fine. Actually, uh, you guys, uh, I got something right here. Do you guys like card tricks? Do you like card tricks? Yeah. 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 Here's something. Well, that's too bad, because we're going to do a rope trick, actually. So I hope you like rope tricks. A uh, little piece of rope magic for you guys. Using these three, let me just grab the other two out here. Uh, three pieces of rope, as you can plainly see. That's one, that's two, that's three, uh, as you can see. Uh, as you can see, though, I have a short one. I, I meant a rope, actually. I meant a rope, actually, not, uh, not something else. I do have a short piece of rope. I also have a medium-sized piece of rope. There's the medium one right there. And, of course, as you can plainly see, that is the long, 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 very, very long piece. All three are different right there. Uh, you might be looking at me a little weird, thinking... Yeah, they look alike, don't they? They do look alike. Actually, you know what confuses most people? You know what confuses them? Uh, it's actually the long one here. Yeah, it's never the short one or the medium one. Always the long one. Go figure. I don't know. So there you go. There you go. Three pieces of rope. As you can see, I do have a short piece of rope. I have a medium-sized piece of rope. And, of course, I have a very, very long piece of rope, which I have right here. All right. So we're going to do a little magic with these three pieces of rope. The long one, the short one, and the medium size. Just like I said in the very beginning. I have a long piece of rope. I have a medium sized piece of rope. There's the medium one. And of course the last one, as you can plainly see, that is the short piece, all three right there in front of you. But when I started this trick, I had three that looked alike, didn't I? Yeah. Oh. yeah sort of like now, are you guys confused? Maybe some of you are confused. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a little few of you look confused. Tell you what though, I tell you what, I'm gonna actually, uh, I, I know what's confusing you. I'm using three pieces of rope. Three pieces is really tough to follow. Uh, let's get rid of a piece, couple pieces. Uh, we'll do a trick with the long one. How's that sound? We'll get rid of the short one and the medium one, and we'll move on with things. How's that sound? Fair enough, fair enough. Hey, do you guys ever wonder about weird and wacky things? Why things are, how things are? I, I do a little traveling with this, uh, with my show, and uh, I'm always wondering about weird things, wacky things, why things are. Like, tell me, tell me if this is not weird. Why is there no such thing as a B battery? Oh. Now think about this. You have A batteries, double yeah. A's, triple A's even, C's and D's. No such thing as a B. Obviously, I have more time on my hands than you people do to be thinking about stuff like this. Okay, this one you guys will all agree with. Why is it whenever you phone a wrong number, you never get a busy signal? That's right, you always get that same person, don't you? I'm sorry, wrong number. This is the weirdest one of all. Has anyone ever seen one of these things? Hmm. Hang beside the toilet. I'm sure you've either seen it in a public restroom or even at home in your own bathroom. Like, who invented something like this? And why? This thing hurts people. I'm sticking to the, I'm going to stick to the paper. You guys can have that. All right. All right. Tell you what we did. I did promise you some rope magic, a little piece of rope magic, uh, using this piece of rope, the long one right here. I'm actually just going to tie a nice tight knot in this piece of rope. Something like so. All right. Something like that, of course. Now, of course, my job as a magician is to actually get rid of that knot. All we have to do is give it a little rub, a little squeeze. Just like so, you can actually pull the knot right off the rope, just like that. There you go, coming at you, there you go. I almost hit the camera, perfect. All right, tell you what, same piece of rope. We're actually gonna take the rope, we're gonna cut the rope into two equal lengths. Two equal lengths, just like so. Two equal lengths of rope. So, uh, okay, define equal, not quite equal, but that's fine. We're actually gonna tie it back together again and we're gonna try and make it back into one solid piece of rope again. Uh, this one I suggest don't blink. Don't blink because you'll actually miss it. Now watch this. Here we go. Back to one solid piece of rope again. Here we go. Don't blink. Here we go. And there it is. Back to one solid piece of rope again. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Woo! There you go. So. <laughs> yeah, some of you guys probably aren't buying that, are you? So. <laughs> Buy that over in Ontario way. So there you go. I'm just kidding. Actually, I tell you what. I tell you what. That never fools anybody. Uh, actually, I tell you what we're going to do. Uh, I was trying to trick you guys. We're going to actually do a couple of quick impersonations for you guys using this uh, this piece of rope right here. Let's see here. Let's me see. 
Oh, how about a, a pair of sunglasses? Maybe if like, like Elton John, Elton John, yeah. Or how about a bunny rabbit? Maybe a bunny rabbit, no. Uh, my grandmother, this is an 18 plus show, isn't it, my grandmother? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on a second, we'll leave my grandfather out of it. Tell you what we're gonna do though, if I wanna restore this piece of rope, all I have to do is give it a little tug, just like that. And there it is, back to one solid piece of rope for you guys. One more time, just like so, there you go. All right. One last time, here we go. I'm gonna actually tie the rope one more time. We're gonna actually tie it like that together. I'm gonna give it a quick cut. I have something right here to cut it with, right there. And there we go, for the last, the final time. Back to one solid piece of rope again, there we go. Oops, there we go. I, I, yeah, I keep missing that middle one, don't I? Yeah, oh, actually, I'm sorry. Oh, my camera, oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I apologize. It's my fault, it is my fault. Uh, actually, it works a lot better if the knot is down there, not closer to the bottom like that. I'm just kidding, tell you what, we're gonna get rid of that and we'll get on with the show. And there it is, back to one solid piece of rope, you guys, one more time, there you go. I hit the, hit the camera again, perfect. All right, tell you what though, I am gonna do one more quick rope trick. Uh, it uses the same piece of rope. It's, whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, did, did you guys all see that? <laughs> They're shaking their heads, yes. Um, you guys probably all saw that. Uh, okay, okay, I know what you're saying. I know what you're thinking. Uh, magicians up their sleeve, all that kind of stuff. L let me just get rid of this. We'll get on with the show. It's, uh, it's not the short one. Hang on a second. That's not even the long one. Um, wait a second. Wait. Wait a second. Hang on, hang on. I think I got it. There we go. I think, there we go. I got it. I think I got it. There we go. I think I got it. Uh oh, stuck on something. <laughs> let, let me just check. Let me just check. Yeah, there's the problem right there. Okay, now we got it under control. There we go. Now we got it under. You guys weren't supposed to see that. Now I'm going to get all mixed up in my work here. Hang on. I'm getting tied up in my work. All right, I think I got it. Oh, it's going up the sleeve, down my pant leg. There we go. I think I got it. Oh, there we go. There it is. All right, there we go. Now I got it. Now we got it under control. There it is. It's, uh, it's, what? Stuck again. <laughs> kind of look like Pee Wee Herman there, don't I, folks? <laughs> yeah, coming in a theater near you. So, some of you will get that maybe later. Um, it is stuck, though. Uh, let me check one more thing. Let me just check. Yeah, there's the problem right there. Okay, now we've got it under control. There we go. Um, this is rope burn, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. If you can figure out where it's going here. All right, let me get rid of this. You guys weren't supposed to see this. Hang on, hang on. I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh, oh there's the knot. Okay, there we go. I think I got it under. I think I'll just cut the darn thing. It's, uh... Oh, wait. I think I got it. Hang on. Oh, what the? What the heck is up with this? It's, uh... Yeah, I never, never know how those duckies get in there. I never know how those. No, no, I know how those duckies get in there. Uh, what I can never figure out uh, is always where this little guy comes from. Come on out of there, sweetheart. Give her a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, on my stage, just like that. There you go. But tell you what, that's my time. Hope you guys enjoyed that. My name's Chris Yule. Thanks again, Adrian. Thanks again, everybody. And thanks again to the frontline workers. They're doing an awesome job. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>